Hi guys, my name is Dr. Erig. I go by Doc or Doc Shell. And these are my last minute tips for you to watch right before you take the Algebra EOC. And you know, they're probably not what you're expecting. Tip number one is to be the best version of yourself. Now, you probably did not wake up this morning very, very excited to take the Algebra EOC. Not many people in the room did. I know I certainly didn't wake up excited to give it to you. But when we are and choose to be the best version of ourselves, there's nothing that can get in our way. Think about the athlete who might have just been pushed or shoved and now has to go back out. Think about the musician who has played the same thing over and over again and finally has to go out and give their very, very, very best performance. Or the artist who just has tried on and on to make this perfect and finally you're just ready and there. Or in Fortnite when it first came out and you were nowhere near the top 10. So that's what this is about. Like I get you're not going to automatically get a job for doing great on the Algebra EOC or go to college or pursue your dreams, but you can still choose to be the best version of yourself. And that's what I'm asking you to do today. So my next tip probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I want you to open up the formula sheet before you even read the first question. There's a lot of brain-based learning in this, and I just want you to really review and remember what's on it. Now, I'm not spending you to, expecting you to take 20 minutes on it, but take 30 seconds and just remember what you see. Remember the topics, so that way if you get to a question on the test, you already have an idea of what's on there and where it's located. All right, tip number three is to use the graphing tool. You might have one or two questions that you need the scientific calculator, but almost everything can be done in the graphing tool. Like I estimate probably 75% of the questions can be used using the graphing tool, which is a fancy way of saying Desmos. And the reason why I say that is because I've gone through the released items and almost all of them can use the tool. So when you get to a question, Open up the graphing tool, see what you can type in and see how that can help you be the best that you can be. All right, tip number four is look for matching results. Now, whether it's that you're typing in two expressions or two functions and you're looking for which of the answer choices matches the overlap, or if it's an irrational number and you're typing it into the graphing tool or the scientific calculator, depending on your preference, and comparing the decimal equivalents. Like, if it matches, it's probably the right answer. I'm just saying. All right, tip number five is to pace yourself. I've seen two extremes happen all the time. The first extreme is the students don't finish the questions in the allotted time. They get to a question, they don't necessarily remember how to do it, and so they'll spend five, six, or seven minutes trying to figure out how to do it. If you get to a question that you really don't know how to do, flag it and move on with your life. The flip side is I've seen the students who just speed through it, don't wanna be the best version of themselves, wanna get out of there and just sprint and they don't win the race, they don't finish well. So I'm asking you to just pace yourself. When you get to a question, ask yourself, one, do I know how to do this? Two, how can the graphing tool help me? Three, how can the formula sheet help me? Many times the graphing tool and formula sheet can help you do the problems, but if you don't know how to do them, then move on, flag it and move on. It's the way that algebra works is there might be some units that are easier or harder for you. So if you don't know it, just move on. If you've been pacing yourself, you'll probably have a few minutes to go back and look at them instead of just wasting your time looking at a question that you might not get the answer to. So pace, be a little bit turtle, be a little bit hair, but pace. And my final tip is to ask yourself when you get to a question and you don't know what to do, what would Doc do? And you can, of course, think of your other teacher or a very intelligent hard worker in your class or whatever, but sometimes just taking the five or 10 seconds, bringing yourself back to the class, pretending that your teacher or me is talking with it, like I've made 75 videos to help you be the best you can be on the Algebra EOC. So think about it. All right, how would Doc do this problem? That can sometimes lift up the test anxiety and it just could work. Will it work for everything? Maybe, maybe not, but it's worth a try. 
And finally, I just want to remind you that I believe in you, your teachers believe in you, so just believe in yourself. Even if you haven't been doing your best the whole year, if you open up the graphing tool, if you use the formula sheet, you'll score a lot, lot higher than if you didn't. So just decide, I will be the best that I can be. I will look and see what's on the formula sheet. I will open up the graphing tool. I will compare and match answers. I will not get stuck on a question and flag it and move on. And I will think about what would Doc do? What would my teacher do? Because you have it in you to be the very best that you can be today. And I just know you will be so much prouder of yourself if you choose to try. Love you guys.